Hi, let's have a look at staking. And currently, at the time of making this video, this is on the beta net, but whatever I say here will apply to the main net. So the first thing you need is get your wallet. So log in, and then you can see here we have a stake and unstake. If you click on that now during the beta net, if you've got coming soon, then you need to upgrade your wallet. So do that now, and then we'll get cracking. All right, so in my wallet, I've got 38.785 radix. If I do nothing with that, I will always have 38.785 radix. I'll have it next week, I'll have it in six months, I'll have it in six years, I'll have it in 600 years if I do nothing with it. However, there is a way where you can earn which is best likened to interest in a bank, and that is by staking. And I'm gonna show you how to do that and explain a little bit about it now, and then I'm gonna go into it in more detail. So you have a stake and unstake button. And it says here, view all the validators. Validators are special nodes on the Radix network and they have a slightly different function to your average wallet. So let's view all validators. Now at the time of making this video, we're still on the beta net and things are still being developed, but this is a list of all of the current validator nodes on the Radix network. For the purpose of explaining this, I'm gonna use Radix Exchange, which is my own validator node. I'm going to copy the address and I'm going to go back to my wallet. So in here it says enter the validator address, paste it in. So now I've got the account I'm staking from, which is Ian Mac. I've got my Radix Exchange validator node address. And it says here I can stake 10 Radix minimum. So let's stake 10 Radix. And what that does is it delegates my 10 Radix worth of support to that node. The 10 Radix doesn't go anywhere. It stays in my wallet. There's a fee of 0.1 Radix. Enter your PIN and confirm. And we are staked. So let's have a look at this. So it tells me here I'm staked with Radix Exchange for 10 XRD. And if we look at the balances, I've still got 38.685 Radix in my account. 0.1 has come out and been used as the fee. I've got 28.685 available, and I've got 10 Radix that's staked, and it's staked with Radix Exchange. The 10 Radix is still in my wallet, it's still under my control, and I can unstake it if I want, simply by clicking here on stake and unstake, and here I can reduce it, and I can request an unstake, and I can unstake part of it or all of it. Now it takes about two weeks currently to unstake, which is normal on a decentralized platform. So this 10 Radix is always under my control and it's now earning basically some interest. Okay, let's have a look at this now in more detail. Okay, so at launch, people will download the software, install it in the computers, and we will end up with a network of wallets. So you, me, and others on the network will have our own wallet. But a key part of the Radix system is something called validator nodes. So let's look at the knowledge base and let's check out validator nodes. And it says here, staking Radix tokens, however, requires making some careful choices. The staker must choose to assign or delegate their stake to validator nodes that operate the Radix network protocol. So this is the key part here. The validator nodes operate the Radix network protocol. And our network will now look like this, where the blue dots represent the validator nodes. Now, anybody can download and install and run a validator node. However, it has to be run on a server, which has to be set up and maintained and requires some computer knowledge. And generally, there's a monthly fee to pay for running a server, unless, of course, you buy and set up your own. So running a validator node requires some computer expertise and finance. Now, let's have a look at our wallet. Ah, so I have made some money from my staking. Remember, at the start of the video, I staked 10 Radix. I've now got 10.21615, etc. So, an example of earning money by staking. Okay, let's stake another 10 Radix with somebody. So, stake and unstake. View all the validators. And we have a list of current validators during the beta net testing. So how do you choose who to stake with? Well, let's have a look at the knowledge base. So the knowledge base here says, 
at least read as a token holder, how should I choose validators to stick to? So let's have a look at that. Again, read this in your own time, but in a nutshell, nodes are ranked by the amount of stake delegated to them. So these ones here, no name provided, I am assuming are being run by the Radix team right now as part of the beta net testing. And if we come down to the community nodes here, we have Radix pool has got 602,263 Radix delegated to him. Rad crew, 591,075. So you, me, and other users, we can delegate who we want to stake with. Here's my node, Radix Exchange. I've got 589,380. And whilst anybody can become a validator node, only the top 100 based on the amount of stake, participate in the running of the system at any given time. And this list is updated every two hours, which Radix calls an epoch. And every two hours, rewards are paid based on the amount staked. So who to stake with? I've updated my map showing red dots, which are the active validator nodes. So ideally for the system, the system would want a good spread geographically across the world. There's 100 nodes, so 100%, 1% each would be ideal. That is probably not going to happen, but what you don't want is you don't want 10% with one or two nodes and then next to nothing with other nodes. Ideally, you would have a good spread numerically as well as geographically. And node runners normally charge a small percentage for staking with them. Maybe 1%, 2% is kind of common. Some won't charge anything, but most will. And that covers their costs. So there's two ways that they can cover their costs. So let's have a look at that as well. From the Radix blog, Radix Staking and Incentive Rewards Guide. All the information you need is in here. I'm going to summarize it very, very quickly. So how the emissions work. The emissions are paid at the end of every epoch, and an epoch is generally under two hours long. So when you stake on a node, your stake will start earning emissions at the start of the next epoch and will receive them at the end of that epoch. There will be roughly 300 million Radix tokens emitted over the course of one year. So they will be created or minted by Radix and paid out as emissions, and it will be paid out proportionally to the amount of Radix that you have staked over the time that you have staked it. And anybody can stake with a node. The requirement is a minimum of 100 XRD, and it's as simple as I showed at the start of the video. Emissions received will automatically be paid into your account and will be paid as staked Radix, so they will be earning more emissions as well. You can unstake at any time, but the unstaking takes a fixed number of epochs, 150 to be exact. Now they're under two hours, so depending on the speed of the network, that roughly takes 10 to 14 days. And anybody who's running a validator node will receive emissions exactly the same as you for staking on their node. However, validators can charge a percent, one or two percent is normal, and that fee will be paid to their wallet automatically, again as staked Radix. And if we scroll down, there is a subsidy incentive for validators. Radix have set aside 600 million Radix, which will be paid out to people running validator nodes. It will be paid out in Radix, but it will be adjusted, so it's approximately $500 per month, which will cover or help cover the cost of running a server. So that is my summary. Hope you got something from it. Read the documentation. It's fantastic. It explains everything. and. See you on the next video. Bye now.